Ladies and gentlemen, the burden of malnutrition in all its forms remains a challenge. Globally, 47 million children under five are affected by wasting. Of this, 12.7 million live in Africa. Acute malnutrition in Africa's dry lands remain a major challenge too, driven by important specificities such as livelihoods and seasonalities, environmental factors and conflicts, systems and institutions. The world made a solemn vow in the Sustainable Development Goals to leave no one behind. We are behind in meeting the nutrition targets agreed at the World Health Assembly. Through the Global Action Plan on Wasting, UN agencies have committed to support countries to accelerate progress in reaching the target of reducing child wasting to less than 3% by 2030. A policy shift is needed towards preventing and sustainably addressing the drivers of acute malnutrition. This calls for a systemic approach with coherent and coordinated actions across systems, social protection, and health systems. Permit me to focus on food systems. Our food systems are failing us. They are not delivering the healthy diet needed for our nourishment. Poor quality diet has become the single largest contributor to disease and premature death. The COVID pandemic adds another layer of challenge. Millions have lost their household's income. Disruptions in essential nutrition services is estimated to increase the number of wasted children by 6.7 million by the end of 2020. Africa's dry land countries need special attention due to the unique changes of the region. FAO, together with partners, are engaged in protecting livelihoods and in supporting the transformation of food systems to deliver affordable, healthy diets for all, especially for those that are more nutritionally vulnerable. We support evidence generation. In Kenya, we are examining how support to livestock and community counseling during the dry season can improve child nutrition. We support policy. Across the region, we are working with parliamentarian alliances to strengthen legislative frameworks to support food security and nutrition. We support programs. In Somalia and South Sudan, we are supporting nutrition sensitive cash and voucher schemes coupled with livelihood support. In conclusion, the ongoing FAO Tufts technical series on the conceptual framework for addressing acute malnutrition in Africa's dry lands provide an opportunity to address the drivers of acute malnutrition in the region in a holistic manner. I thank you.